What's up guys, this is Rack and Load. Now, long range precision rim fires, they seem to be in fashion at the minute. People are into them quite a bit now, cheap to run. All right, the initial sort of layout of said rifles can be a little sort of up there. You know, when you think of something like the Crimson Red from Anschutz, or there's other, um, different rifles like what is it is it the, the dolphin and there's a few others from the usa some real cool bits kit out there you've seen the one i've built it's bagara b14 uh, shooting it's i've put that in a accuracy international uh, stock that w what was my 308 was in at, you know many moons ago so i've turned that into my long range beast <sighs> You know, stretching out for a crimson red. What are they? Three and a half grand from Anschutz. Yeah, they're a little bit pricey, aren't they? But there is another option. And in fact, it is a grand less. Let me introduce you to the 1710, which is exactly the same, pretty much as it's the same action as the crimson red, but in the XLR chassis for like a grand less. Now I don't like giving prices on the channel because prices go well out of date. That's what Google is used for, just Google prices. But as I review this, as I, well, it's not really a review, it's more of a first look. Um, This is not a new model, but as it is a first look on this channel, and you guys may not have seen these, so who knows, let me know in the comments. But at present, here in the UK at least, these are running a thousand pounds less than a crimson red. Yet it is the same action and barrel. It's just in a different chassis. In the XLR, I think it's the Element 4.0 chassis to be precise. Check it out, guys. I like it. And I must admit, I would have been, if I'd seen this before I'd built my B14. I may have swung to this, if I'm perfectly honest. But I think this is a real nice setup. I think it's more of a crossover than like a, you know, Rimfire PRS kind of rifle. Because, all right, it's it's got Arca Swiss on it. It's not got the barricade stop, but yeah, I know you can add that. But isn't that cool? That heavy stainless barrel on there, obviously threaded m-lock configuration on this xlr uh, chassis and it said stock and shuts his name they've put it on it i like it i think that is really cool very very nice indeed now i'm not shot this is just a first look but i really do like the look of this thing you know it's got the uh, stock hook there fully adjustable tool free Love that. I love this rubberized uh, finish. It's almost like a neoprene. Um, yeah, I think it, it does feel very neoprene-like uh, on the uh, on the cheek piece there. Ambidextrous. Nice touch here as well, where you've got the bubble level built in. I love that. This one's not a folder, but I have noticed it is on a buffer it's got buffer castle nut there so you could if you wanted to change it to a folder or put whatever sort of um stock you wanted on there so that is really cool uh configuration as well for basically um well whatever you want you can add weights to it uh, i did notice here you can get um you can put like the gas pedal on to as a thumb rest on either side by the looks of it love that nice big bolt handle and low throw on it the only thing that doesn't turn me on particularly about the 1710 is this massive magazine release i don't know what it is i just think that could be a little bit better myself i don't know it's just it just i don't know it doesn't do it for me and then when you look down there you got like i don't know if you can see you got big old clothes peg spring I don't know, I think Antrus could have just done a little bit better than that, you know. But that's just me. 
But no, it's just a first look, guys, at um, the 1710 in the XLR Element 4.0 stock. Um, I think this is a very cool option. If you can't quite stretch to the uh, crimson red, you know, three and a half grand, then this might do it for you. But it's just another option. Popular Sport, uh, Rimfire, 22LR, Rimfire, PRS is concerned. It's really sort of getting up there now. And, and long range, 22LR. Long range Rimfire is getting really popular. It is here in the UK. I think it is in most countries now. I mean, I think it's just the the saving you have on ammunition. <laughs> you know, it's all right doing uh, Centerfire PRS. But man, that costs some money when you're chugging through, you know, hundreds so rounds of 308 or 65 Creed more or PRC or whatever. It's going to start, start hurting the bank account. But with Rimfire, and, and I mean, these things are a good trainer as well, you know. But but no, just a quick look, guys. Probably isn't a quick look now. It's probably gone into sort of 10 minutes now. But just, uh, just a, a look at this as an option. Just to throw it out there. Um, this one is kindly on loan from Livens Gun Shop here in the UK. But um, I really like it. Really like it. Um, but yeah, there you go. The 1710 in the XLR Element 4.0 chassis. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. That is Rack and Load. See ya.